This is about to make Elon Musk livid. Tesla investor accuses Elon Musk of insider trading after Elon's $7.5 billion stock sale. This is going back to 2022 when Elon Musk was buying Twitter. For Forbes, the Tesla investor Michael Perry alleges that Musk exploited his position in the company and breached his fiduciary duty to Tesla. Both Musk and the Tesla board are named as defendants in the suit. The lawsuit points to Musk's November 2022 and December 2022 stock sales, which were ahead of the news that Tesla would fall short on Q4 deliveries. Elon would have lost 55% of the value if he had waited to sell after the announcement. And according to Bloomberg, Perry and his legal team are asking a judge to force Musk to return the profit he made back to the company. And can you guess who is going to be the judge in this lawsuit? If you guessed that it's going to be the same judge that made Elon buy Twitter at that expensive valuation and then took away Elon's compensation package, you would be totally right. Now a hearing date has not been set. So um, <laughs> this is going to be, wow. That's another story to follow. I will get into the lawsuit details a bit more tomorrow, but I think there is actually a decent chance that Elon is not going to win this lawsuit. So make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. However, I'm not worried about it. What I am worried more about is this. This is my final warning to Tesla stock investors about this issue. And this is important. There's a lot of comments. I'll go through them and I'll give you my thoughts as well. The results changed a little bit. I did a video about this yesterday. What will you do if Elon's compensation plan is not approved? 1,100 votes. So that's pretty good. Sell all Tesla stock 14%. Sell some Tesla stock 6%. Keep Tesla stock but stop buying more which still negatively affects tesla stock 25 percent and no change at all including you keep buying as normal 54 percent and the second poll hypothetical elon's compensation is not approved and he makes it clear he won't spend much time at tesla anymore what do you do almost 30 percent said sell all tesla stock and sell some tesla stocks at another 13 percent and only 30% said no change at all. And look at the comments on this bigger poll. The one that doesn't say anything about Elon leaving. I sold last week. I'm terrified he's going to lose the vote. I also see quite a few people saying they are moving to Nvidia stock. However, there are quite a few people that are saying I will buy more, including here and here. I keep buying around the seventh each month. Buy more. The price might drop initially and I want to take advantage of it. Buy. Buy a lot more. So I am going to redo this poll with another added option clearly stating I will be buying more and here are some comments below this poll what will you do if Elon leaves nobody is irreplaceable not even Elon Musk yes there will be a dip because of uncertainty but the business will remain healthy Apple found a new CEO after Steve Jobs so will Tesla after Elon I do agree that it is in Elon's best interest to make sure that Tesla stock doesn't crash because he does have quite a few shares. So if he does leave or decides to pay less attention, it's in his best interest to find someone who will do a great job running Tesla. Also, there will be a lot of synergy between XAI and Tesla with the Tesla bot. So it would make sense for Elon to still make sure that Tesla is making progress because you can take Grog, plug it into the Optimus bot. Doing another company focused on manufacturing, for example, robots, that's extremely difficult, but Tesla already has the infrastructure to manufacture at scale. On the other hand, couldn't Tesla just take another large language model from someplace else like chat GPT? I'm not saying take chat GPT, but I'm saying there are other large language models that Tesla could probably put into Optimus Bot or even create a large language model powered by Tesla. I'm sure eventually Tesla could figure out how to do it. However, this issue is very real. Gary Black calls Warren Rudlick an Uber bull and he sold 20% off his Tesla stock. All in Tesla stock investor Jason DeBolt, multimillionaire, said he will sell probably all of his Tesla stock if the compensation package isn't approved. So if you are going to hold Tesla stock, if the vote does not approve Elon's compensation package. You have to be prepared for a lot of fun and for a lot of Tesla bulls selling their Tesla stock saying I'm done or I'm selling some. Be prepared for that. What are you going to do if the compensation package doesn't get approved? Leave comments down below. What will I do if the compensation plan doesn't get approved? I made a video explaining my thoughts on Patreon. And today I made a part two of that video.
what will I do if Elon leaves Tesla and not just doesn't get his compensation package? And now here are some of the latest Tesla stock news stories. I recorded some parts of the video when I was on the road using a different mic, but I put all the pieces together. Eventually, that's why the video is late today, by the way. Tesla is offering a 0% annual rate for Model Y inventory vehicles in Hong Kong. And James says that the strategy to focus on special low financing rates is spreading quickly with a new country popping up almost daily now. FSD might have new modes in the future. Galley said the following and Elon responded to him. FSD is too aggressive for me, even chill mode. Can we have turn Turtle mode that is super duper cautious and slow. The perception of FSD's safety is challenged by rapid acceleration and jerky moves. Everyone should start on turtle mode. And Elon replied to this post FSD will have chill, standard and hurry modes. So if you are late for work, you will be able to use the hurry mode. Now right now, there's the chill mode, normal and then aggressive. So I guess they're just renaming it. There's no actual change. I do want an actual turtle mode included though. And I really like this comment from Chuck. Check it out. I'm an FSD guy. Sometimes a critic says Chuck. I have had a few people ask me, where is this going? What will win? Are there differences in the approaches with autonomy? I was at the Jacksonville 2024 autonomy day this week. The best thing they had was a vehicle going less than 15 miles per hour on an HD map route. Tesla is winning autonomy. That is my takes as Chuck. Omar replied to this saying that Tesla FSD is the world's most advanced self-driving solution. The fact that you can use it anywhere makes it the only truly useful self-driving solution in my opinion. And it's also very unappreciated how even an old Tesla can run the latest self-driving tech says Omar. And when I go for a drive, if I'm driving by myself, I usually use FSD. I turn it on. Typically, if I'm just driving by myself, the only times I don't use it is if it's just a bit too time consuming to put my destination into navigation. I think Tesla needs to work on that a little bit more. And this reporter is pretty impressed with FSD. He says it worked great. It was 18 miles of driving. Whoa, this is pretty cool, says Omar. Tesla API lets you turn on guest mode on a car. When in this mode, it'll show the QR code on the screen for someone to get a temporary phone key like what Hertz does. Requires version 2024.14 or later. And then suddenly everything is in place to run the auto fleet and so few see it coming, says Alexander. Alexandra. Nick also loves this feature. Yeah, it's awesome the way Tesla allows guests to have full access to the Tesla app. I'd never thought I'd see the day when Tesla starts advertising on Electric, says Fred. Thanks, Elon Musk. I'm now fully back in. Full self-driving is going to be solved by the end of the year. Elon was a genius for firing the whole charging team. Subscribing to X is basically donating to free speech. Obviously, Fred is being sarcastic there, but yeah, Tesla is running ads on Electric. But really, Tesla is not specifically targeting electric. Tesla is just running Google Ads and Google Ads get placed everywhere, basically. Tesla has started sending out invites to their 2024 annual shareholder meeting at Giga Texas. Omar says, nothing for me yet, but I forgot to apply. I have a flight to Austin, but may stay and watch it from California, depending on how I feel. Robinson, as well as Jeff, got an invite. And Jeff chose Alexandra as his plus one. Didn't want to miss this one. She said, see you all in Austin. I'm not going to go. I'm going to stay here in Vancouver and report what's happening. The purpose of giving Elon Musk an incentive stock options package is not to reward him and it is not about whether he deserves it. It is about incentivizing him to create shareholder value. If he didn't create any, he wouldn't get paid. Musk is the difference between Tesla's equity being worth zero dollars or trillions of dollars long term. I definitely wouldn't go that far. I mean, Elon himself said if he's not a Tesla, autonomy will get solved anyway, even if he just disappears from this planet but is elon incredibly valuable to tesla absolutely yes i agree with that this guy has been so successful that his wealth fluctuates by millions of dollars a day he's the richest guy on earth he doesn't need to work you can't incentivize someone whose net worth fluctuates by millions of dollars a day with two million dollars in cash for example it doesn't make a difference to elon musk at this point though elon just wants more control of tesla but with that new lawsuit Ah, uh, it will be interesting to watch what happens. Omar just made this poll. How do you feel about Elon's huge package? Should he have a smaller package? Okay, Omar, that's a good one. Omar then continues. Here's what Tesla's board said to Elon. Under this new compensation plan, Elon Musk gets paid nothing unless he delivers massive returns for shareholders. But then the Delaware Court of Chancery replies with how about nothing? 
even if he does deliver massive returns for shareholders, huh? And then there's a post from Elon. AJ said any Tesla investor should read and understand this to become less vulnerable to FUD. The deal allows me to sell enough stock to pay the taxes. The remaining stock must be held for five years, so it is impossible for me to cash out and run. Tesla China's Model 3 performance delivery expected period has changed. Previously, it was Q3 delivery, but now it's marked three to six weeks. This indicates it will be delivered to customers starting in Q2. Also, in the first quarter of 2024 in China, the Tesla Model 3's complaint rate was reported to be 5.3%, the lowest in the industry. The Model Y long range EPA range has been slightly adjusted in the US to 308 miles from 310 miles. Pay attention to this one. This is a pretty big deal. If the rumors are true that SpaceX is now valued at $200 billion, that means that Elon's SpaceX stock is currently worth more than his Tesla stock. And this part is really good news. SpaceX has no need for additional capital and will actually be buying back shares, said Elon earlier. We do liquidity rounds for employees and investors every six months. And I do agree with AJ here that is great news for Tesla investors since it lowers the risk of an imminent Starlink IPO, which would cause some investors to ditch their Tesla stock for buying Starlink shares. And this is interesting. Chinese pure play EV maker Xpeng delivered 10,146 electric vehicles in May, implying a 35% year-over-year growth rate. So that's pretty good. 10 lessons I've learned from investing in Tesla stock. All of Aiden's money is invested in Tesla stock. Let's see what he says. Tesla stock is the greatest investment of our generation and will shape humanity. It is definitely true that Tesla is shaping our society to some degree and if the bot works oh boy there will be massive changes number two no one knows when tesla stock will take off so always be ready number three listen to elon musk he says things before they happen the second major wave of growth is coming also elon says if he doesn't have 25 percent of voting control of tesla the company then he's not comfortable growing ai products uh, Tesla. So it goes both ways. Number four, be a long-term investor. Nothing good happens overnight or even in a quarter. Big projects take years but are well worth it. Well, I th for Tesla, if you look at Tesla's stock history, sometimes there are big jumps throughout just one quarter. Number five, volatility equals opportunity. I think he meant to say buying opportunities. Number six, dollar cost average. Timing the market almost never works and opens you up too far more risk. I think one way to do this effectively is if you have multiple investments that you can invest your money into, then you just look, okay, all of them are great, but which one is the cheapest right now in terms of valuation but if you are only investing in one thing then yeah dollar cost averaging it is and this one i do agree with unless you are very emotionally strong number seven ignore the mainstream media they spread misinformation and use elon for views number eight don't concern yourself with tesla's stock price it doesn't reflect tesla's value number nine x is the best place to get the most reliable and recent tesla news and analysis i have to disagree with that i like youtube that was of course Hang in cheek, but uh, seriously, X is great. It just takes <laughs> quite a bit of time to get through everything. So Rob did a great job with Tesla Daily. I would just watch him every day, but he's not doing the news anymore. Number 10, the Tesla community are the most passionate people that I've met. And that's because many of us believe in Elon's vision and we believe in sustainable future. So it's not just only about the money. That's it for today's video. Check out this exclusive video on Patreon. What will I do if Elon leaves Tesla or doesn't get his conversation plan? By joining Patreon, you will have access to all of my exclusive videos on Patreon, as well as how much I am willing to pay for each Tesla share between 2024 and 2033. If you join the investor tier, you will also have access to my valuation model, where you will see all of my assumptions, including deliveries, the energy business, Tesla's future businesses like FSD, and of course, much more. And then if you want to easily download that and put in your own numbers, then this third tier is for you. To all of my Patreon supporters, thank you so much. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet as well. It's really important to like the videos because that makes it less likely that the channel will be shadow banned later like my other big uh, channel got shadow banned before from about 50% of my regular viewers.